Alright, so good to be back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Satsun. Today, I want to take you on a tour of the project manager page in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get into that, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and this will go a long way in helping this channel to grow. Alright, so without much further ado, let's jump into our tutorial. All right, so first things first, we, we need to ensure that we have DaVinci Resolve installed on our computers. And so we need to visit this website, blackmagicdesign.com forward slash products forward slash DaVinci Resolve. And so we scroll down to here and then we want to download this free version. They have two versions. One is a paid version. Another one is a free version. So hit on that free version. It will take you to this page. And depending on the platform that you're using whether you're using mac os windows or linux you want to choose one of those and once you download davinci resolve you want to run the installation once you finish the installation then we are good to go all right so after you finish the installation you want to double click on that to open after you open davinci resolve you will have this page open this is what we call the project manager page so on the project manager page of course we have the name davinci resolve 18.6 this is the version of davinci resolve and down here we have the project side and we have the project library side if you cannot see this project library side then you have to toggle this icon right here you can see if i hover over on projects you can see that icon it can show or hide project library so i can toggle that and then up here you can see this is how we close this page in case we want to close this page we can just hit on that x and then we have local network and cloud this determines where your project is going to be stored the storage of your project and so right now we are going to store our project on our local computer on our hard drive but we can also decide to store it on a network or on a cloud network is going to be a local area network let's say an organization they might have a server dedicated for that and so every Everyone who is in that company can access that project but when it comes to cloud this is now the internet so anywhere you are you can access this and so it allows collaboration uh, back to the local tab because that's what we're going to be working on we can see right here we have our project libraries a project library is just a folder where you're going to store all of your projects you can have multiple projects in that project library and so we can see right here you say project libraries and there we have this we can organize our project library sort them and then here we can restore a project library we can also search our project libraries down here this way our project libraries are listed by default we're going to have a local database which is our local project library and so we can see down here if i want more details about this i can go to i hit on that i you can see i have more information i can see the location and then the status right here i can also back it up in case i can also open the file location to check where my project are stored so i can hit on that then you can go to resolve projects and then users and then guest and then projects and then here you can see all my projects right here in your case you might not have all of these projects we can go back you can see this arrow right here we can go back and then down here you can see if I want to create multiple project libraries so I can come down here and then add project library and you can see there's a window right here um, create name uh, your project library and then you can browse the location where you want to store this project library and then you can hit on create but we're not going to be doing that so i'm going to cancel this all right and then on the other side you can see we have our projects uh, these where our projects are listed and so i've got plenty of projects that i created and so up here on these icons you can see we have a folder if we want to organize our projects into folders we can create folders on on here so i can hit on this and i can name a, a, a folder here let's say wording projects that i'm working on and i can create that now you can see we created a folder here called wording and then i can drag and drop all of my project that i want to go inside there so maybe i can dr drag and drop this and also maybe this new project drag and drop inside that and if i double click you can see those projects are in here if i want to go back i'll have to come here you have to come to projects here and then hit on that and then you can go back to the project manager page and over here we have 
have this copy project too so you need to copy a specific project let's say webcam or you can come down here select that webcam make sure it's highlighted and then you go back to this icon hit on that icon and you can see we have this window that pops up and then we decide whether we want to copy to network or cloud or local and then we choose the database for now we only have one database right uh, but if we had multiple database then we would see those database right here on the drop down but we only have one and then here the folders uh, where do we want to copy this to so you can see we have new projects here we have wording which we just created we also have home which is the root directories and so we can decide where we want to copy this and then we can hit copy and then the next one is this slider over here you can see if I slide to the left then these icons become smaller and if I slide to the right then these icons become bigger this is how we're going to sort our project right here so we can sort them using the name or date modified the one that is that is selected here but you can choose any one of these to sort your projects and the next one which is uh, grayed out if you hit on it uh, now you toggle it on uh, you can see now it gives us extra information about each one of these projects right here so I can toggle this eye for information and the next one is the display type and you can see now we are displaying it as thumbnail view but we can also display these projects as a list view so if i hit that list view you can see now we can see a list of these projects but i prefer this which is kind of more appealing um we can also search for specific projects uh for instance let's say i want to search for webcam uh, you can see only webcam is remaining on the screen and so yeah you can do the same uh, for any other project yeah so down here we can also export our projects let's say we want to share our project with other people by hitting here select a project and then export we can then export this project we can also import a project from other people so by hitting this import and then we can import our project into this project manager right here we have new project and open we can open a project by selecting it and hitting open and then it is going to open our project uh, for instance if I want to open this webcam I can select this and then open you can see now I'm inside webcam right here um, you can click this home button to go back uh, you can also create a new pro project completely uh, by hitting here on new project and then you can create a new project so hit on new project if you want to create a new project and then we can name it our underscore project right here and then hit create and you have our project project right here now we are inside our project all right so basically that's the project manager page if you do have any questions uh, make sure to leave them in the comment section i hope this uh, tutorial was insightful and helpful consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in our next tutorial for now i'm out bye bye